my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me by the rivers of water. And then he sets a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. It's, and then he says that here before your enemies, he anoints your head and your cup will run over. And surely goodness and mercy will follow. Goodness and mercy will follow. What will follow you tonight? What will follow you home? What will follow you to your place of work? What will follow you to the village? What will follow you everywhere? Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I, and I, and I, and I will abide in his house for how long? Forever, forever, forever. He says, let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe in me also. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Amen. Yeah. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, so that where I am, there you will be also. I will be there. I will be there. Because he is our Savior, and because he is our Lord, amen means provision, pledge, complete, consummated. Number six, Amen means position, priesthood, power, comfort. When we say amen, he establishes us in a place, in a position of authority. And you are now a king. When you have come to the Lord, the king's key. And where the word of the king is, there is power. Power will explode all the problems and challenges of your life tonight in Jesus name amen means our position in Christ our priesthood in the Lord and our power that power is conferred upon us already amen number seven means petitioner and power connected Petitioner, that's the one that is making a request and saying, God, save me. When we say amen, that petitioner, uh, that petitioner and the power of God, the pardon connected. Lord, purify me. When we say amen, it means the petitioner and that purity, they are connected. Lord, fill me with your power. He shall receive power. After that, Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses to me, both in Jerusalem and Judea, and to the uttermost part of the earth. You say, Lord, I come. I don't want to be weak anymore. I want power. Power from on high. When we say amen, it means the petitioner and the power, they are connected. When we say, Lord, you said you will heal. You said you will deliver. And Lord, I come. I come for that healing. I come for that deliverance. When we say amen, then the petitioner asking for the healing, asking for the deliverance, the petitioner is connected with power. Tonight, power, Amen. healing, Amen. deliverance, Amen. miracle. Amen. You are connected already. Amen. I said you are connected already. Amen. Forgiveness will come. Amen. There will be connection between you and forgiveness. Amen. Salvation will come. 
there be connection between you and the salvation of the Lord. Miracle. Somebody shout miracle. Yeah. Miracle. Somebody shout miracle. Yeah. When we say the final amen, there will be connection between you and the miracle that you need in Jesus' name. Heaven is ready. Are we ready on earth? God is ready. Are the people there ready? I am ready. I am ready. The Lord is going to produce heavenly amen in your life right now. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. The Lord, I've been waiting for you for this time that to recognize He loves you. And because He loves you, He wants to forgive you. He wants to cleanse you. He wants to turn your life around. He wants to give you forgiveness and salvation. Heads bowed, eyes closed. You see, I want that connection tonight. I want that conversion tonight. I want that coming to the Lord to be affirmed and confirmed tonight. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. God bless you. God bless you. This is the final night. Don't allow this time to pass you by. Raise up that hand. I want forgiveness. I want to be free from guilt want to be free from condemnation. I want that salvation tonight. And I know whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Raise up that hand and say, Lord, salvation tonight. Forgiveness tonight. I want it. As you are raising up your hand, stand up wherever you are. You're saying, I want the connection between the penitent and the pardon. Your penitent, you're telling the Lord, I'm sorry for every bad thing I have ever done. Every bad thing I've ever smoked, drunk. Any bad thing I've ever acted out. Lord, I come. I come. Raise up that hand. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Praise the Lord. Tonight is your night. I said tonight is your night. While you're standing up, tell the Lord over there where you are. Lord, I will not go back to those sinful habits sinful life anymore lord forgive me now lord change my life now grant me your forgiveness and grant me your salvation now lord i come tell the lord tell the lord i'm sorry i'm penitent i'm repentant and then you connect the penitent with the pardon he'll forgive you Amen. I want to hear the amen. 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 We're going to pray together now. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray, Lord, that all these who have desired, who have asked, who have pleaded for their forgiveness, for their salvation, grant them that forgiveness and that salvation now in Jesus' name. Bear witness in their hearts that their sins are forgiven. Their sins are blotted out. Guilt, condemnation is taken away from them. And that they now have the salvation of the Lord. Confirm salvation in their hearts in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We know it is done. In Jesus' name, 
we pray. Amen. That answer has been confirmed now in Jesus' name. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there. And they will give you slips to fill. Fill correctly so that we can continue together in the kingdom of God. We'll call on our overseer to help us at this time of the counseling session. Let our counselors move around and take their names, phone number, addresses. Make sure you write very clearly. If you are standing up, wave your hands to those, to those counselors if, if they are not gotten to your side. Please let, let the counselor move very fast to where the people are. Let's move very fast. Raise up your hand as you are standing up if nobody is coming to your side. You are taking decision. Powerful decision. Decision for Christ. To reign with him. The Lord has confirmed your salvation. You are connected with the Almighty God. Give correct address, the correct name, and phone number. Let our counselor be careful that they write correct digits, 11 digits. We are expected to remain where we are sit seated, not to go home now. It's not time to go home. Miracle prayer will be prayed for everybody. You don't go home the way you came. Vehicles will not move until we are done here. So let's wait patiently. For miracle prayer. If you are there, you are not just to stand or sit or be looking around. Pray to God that today is my day. Others are receiving their miracle. I will receive my miracle. I will not be a spectator. Cancel us. Let's move fast and do the canceling. Take the that data names, phone number, and address properly. You are telling the Lord, I'm not going back with my problem. I'm not going back with my, my sorrow. I'm not going back with the, the sickness. I have testimony. I will give my testimony tonight. Tonight is a night of testimony. There's a link for you to fill, to fill the form for those who are giving their life to Christ online. You fill the form and send to us. Online people who are giving your life to God, fill the form. There's a phone number there. To those of you listening on the radio, send your details to this number. Plus 234-915-444-9263. Let's take the number again. Plus 234-915-444-9263. 444-9263. Our Father and the Lord will be happy to communicate with you. 
you are welcome to the big family of Christ. Counselors, let's move around to the far back, extreme left and extreme right. Like the front is covered. If the front is covered, you can move towards the back. Pray if you are not being cancelled. I will not go back the same way I came. The Lord will touch you. We take away your sickness. Don't be in a hurry to go. Counselor, after finishing your section, supervisor, you should wave the flag to show that you are finished in your section. I can see the flag on the right hand side at the back. I can see the flag in the front. I can see the flag at the left hand side in front. Yes, I can see the flag left hand side at the back too. Thank you. Thank you. Also the flag is flying at the far back on the right hand side. Thank you. At the far back Left side, also the flag is flying there. Let the counselor move around to check up if there's anybody that can not be cancelled, that cannot be attended to. Nobody should be left unattended to. Yes, I can see the flag in the middle there. Thank you. Ensure we finish the work at the far back. At the far back, the middle is covered. There's no flag flying at the far back. Be getting ready for miracle. Be getting ready for signs and wonders. Our Father and Lord prayed last night. Those who waited on getting to the hotel, their, their, their problem were rolled away. So wait and get your miracle prayer. Pass me not by, O oh gentle Savior. He will not pass you by. He will not pass you by. Today is my day. Tonight is my night. I'm not taking no for an answer. He's a great king. He did it for others. You do your own tonight. Yes, yeah, some people are already praying. He did it for others. He opened the eyes of the blind. The lame walked. Mine will not be difficult. Whatever the situation, whatever your condition, Amen. A confirmation is coming in your life. A manifestation is coming in your life. And remember, remember, as we pray.